body position is not comfortable on one side or the other, so I've seen Maxim square on him because obviously he has a lot to him. Um, and making sure that when I ask an aid, I discipline to get a response properly. Okay. Is he a good boy? Does he get naughty? Not really. Okay. Yeah, he's very tolerant and sometimes upset me and distressed. Okay. Um, Luke did the braiding. I did, because I didn't want her falling off the ladder. <laughs> Who did the bandages? I did because she can't okay. squat down. <laughs> no, that's fine. The, the braiding looks lovely. I'm just For some yeah. reason, your left front bandage doesn't look like the others. It's ending in the middle instead of at the top. But they look very good otherwise. Okay. So, um, is there anything in particular you think we might want to work on? I love having, that I have my own stable the clinician that comes in. Let's the students are I don't even know what those are. So. Sometimes that's how I learned that they can actually go back to the <laughs> And then the other one is the clinician that comes in and completely blows it. And you spend the next three weeks putting the driver and the horse back together. Okay, yeah. off we go. Hopefully I'm not doing that. I'm trying Have you been watching any of the lessons? Yes, I've been videoing. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes. Your husband, you're not doing. Yeah. You, you did more than your share yesterday. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you know what's kind of important to me. Now, tell me about this walk right now. Um, it's probably less than a medium walk, and I'm still kind of chasing it a little bit. Tell me about his shape. Um, Look over in the mirror. So he's behind the vertical? Very much so. Yep. So, I don't know, maybe just try being a little softer with the arm. Yeah. Hands down a little, give a tiny bit. Give a little, give the hand down. Just look at me. Now a little extra bend, right? 
right leg, left leg back. Yeah. You got yourself on the wrong diagonal, didn't you? Everyone done their tests and thank you. Okay. Good. Now, a slightly bigger trough, tiny little bend, and a slightly bigger trough. Bigger. That's not much. Okay. And now a slightly smaller trough. You can probably make your trough smaller just by posting a little more slowly. Not bending right. Push him a little forward. That's a little too much bend to keep. And now a three loop serpentine. So I'm looking that the trough is maintained. Nice changes of bend. Push him forward a little, bend left, left leg. Push him forward, push him forward. Ah, good job. And then you could show me a little more change of bend. That's really what we're looking for in the uh, serpentine. Good. Now, trot a little faster. Go. No, don't serpentine again. Oh, sorry. sorry. Now, you just pushed him on. He went and you fell backwards and grabbed his arm. Yeah. Down with your leg. And a little bit of a big trot. Good. Now, I'd like you to come to wall. Forward, give it. Forward, come. Good. Good mistake. I like, oops, that's too much of a mistake. I always want you to think about starting the walk and not stopping the trot. Okay? That was well done. You just carried it on to the wall. And trot again. Good. And on the short side, walk again. Sit. Ooh. Forward. Good job. Now, how much are you kicking him right now? Too much. Ah, I agree. Now make him walk there. And now shut up with your leg. Shut up with your leg. No leg. Now ask him to go. Shut up. No, I, I meant in the wall. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't say it. No. So no leg at all. He starts to slow up. You make him surge slightly forward. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Don't you nag. <laughs> Good, and let's go to trot again. Center line and leg heel towards F. Look at F. I don't know that you'll get there, but make it your goal. That's too much neck bend. Give your hand. Give your hand. It's leg heel. It's not radial, it's leg heel. So, stop just a moment. You can tell me that sitting here, how much bend should there be in a leg heel? None. Almost none. Okay? So we talk about we talk about both bend and then position. <coughs> now, I think that's all. Okay. So talking just about the front end. Bend involves a whole body. They've been talking just about the front now he's back to the left. Okay, he's back to the left. Okay? Now, this. Okay, George. This is positional. It really happens only here. Okay? It's just a little giving of that job. When I would train Leggy, sorry, I have a very broken when I was 11. I try to have the horse 
just and straight. Because it's easy to add a little. But the more you bend the horse, I mean, again, as a human being on two legs, if I bend without control, I do this and you notice my hips went that way, right? I can bend without my hips going that way. With the horse, the more you take the head one way, what happens? What's that? The more like the arms just about the front end right now. The more the shoulder goes the other way. Especially on the horse's hollow side, the side to which they bend more easily, the more you pull the head this way, putting it crudely, the more the shoulder is like lead. So what's the problem we see so often in leg yoga? The shoulders lead too much. Okay, so the horse is leg yielding and, and his front legs are going this way and his hind legs are actually going this way. His man, he's bent over here. And so what does a rider do? Because the shoulders are going that way too much, they pull on this rein, which makes it worse. When you pull on this rein, the more the shoulders go that way. So generally in leg yielding, your aids are mostly inside leg, but act a little usually to push the horse over. And outside, remain saying, don't you overbend. Don't you let that shoulder leave. How much? You know, some horses do a lot. Some horses don't. And usually, it's, they get more this way on their hollow side and less that way on their stiffer side. Um, let's say something else. I really want to say. So, and the outside ring, we're leg yielding this way. That outside ring is going to go a little bit against the neck because what we're trying to do is walk the shoulder. Okay? So I want you to try to leg yield with a dead
Try it again. 
hand. Cross the diagonal, chest up. 
and in the corner an M, a 10 meter circle. You're gonna have to put them a little more together. Up, up, yep, push a little, good. Good job, very good. Across the diagonal and change knees through the trot somewhere. Three strides of trot. One, two, ten. Sit up. Now make nice. Easy, sit now. Don't get flapping. You need to give a little more room on the track. Yep. Good. Good. Now, from K to B boy. Look at B. A little bit uphill. Counter, canter around the ring. Let her have the track, please. Lots of room. Why did we drop? Oh, I totally missed up. Look at the other horse. Boom, patrol. Come on, you guys are sleeping. <laughs> Come on, don't give up. Go back. Go back. Go. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back to the right. Yeah. To the right? Right knee right. to the right. That's where we started, right? Sorry, Zarina. Now, you have to tell him to stay on the right knee. If you do nothing, he may do the easy way out, which is a flying chain. Sit down. Pull up, pull up. Left leg back, left leg only. Left leg clock once, left leg, left leg. Good, and truck. And walk. Now this is for all of you, this is really important with a horse that doing counter canter, that for whom flying changes are easy. Flying changes are completely natural to a horse. What do we Baby you know, within hours of when they're born, you'll see them running around with flying changes all over everywhere. Totally natural tools. So, and counter canter really is not natural tools. Something we teach the horse to do. So it's really important. You know, it's not that you make him do a change, but you let him. You have to tell him, right lead, yeah. right lead, right lead. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You've got to make sure you're telling him to stay on the right lead. And which is keeping your left leg back. And remember I said, you know, make sure he's forward, but use only the left leg. And if that's not quite enough, clock. I wouldn't use the right leg at all, no matter what. And you need to make sure you sit right in the middle of his back. Because you shift, you do anything. You, you flip wrong with a lot of horses. I lifted the inside stroke. He was like, there's no window. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, let's go back to medium wall. Okay. So, 
Oh, you're ready? <laughs> Let's come on the track. I like doing them on the track because it makes you aware of how big they are. And a turn on the haunches. Okay, too big and too slow. Nothing negative. Ah, you gotta get a little gutsy, Lisa. About making it a little small. Okay. Now, whatever problem right now. What? During the turn. Okay. As encouragement, not as a punishment, but as encouragement. Let's do it over here again. And be a little gutsy about making it smaller. A little half hold, hands right. Oh, don't hit it, just touch it. Was that better? Yeah, yeah much better. You wouldn't want it any bigger than that. Okay, so put your whip now in your right hand. You gotta let go before you grab it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, it has to be kind of at the exact same time. Okay, so be a little gutsy about a little hope turn. Yeah, touch. That was pretty close to pirouette some. I uh, think hold up. Yes, pirouette. Okay, so the main difference between a turn on is the collection. In a pirouette, they really should step almost straight up and down in place. The turn on the haunches can be a little bigger. Okay, back on the circle. Following. Don't get it deep and don't hold your hands up. You can take them up, but don't hold them. Go bump. Towards his ear. Come towards his ear. Okay. And walk again. Oh, give. Oh, give. Don't pull. Yeah. And let's canter. No whip. Was that clean and hard? Not quite. Sit up, chest up, and ho, ho, ho. And again, it's not ho, it's ho, ho. And grief. <laughs> I'm complaining about the noise. And again, turn. Now, okay? That was very obedient. The walk to canter is the time, the first time really, where timing of aid is essential. And trot to walk. Oh, 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 sit, sit. Now, I don't know if you saw me, I've done this a couple times. I'm gonna give the timing. Gotta say now, 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 over and over again. Make sure he's alert. And as I say now, you're gonna give the aid. So your left leg will be back. And so wait, it's sorry. Okay. Now, now, now. Good. Not very powerful. What we're looking for is does he push off with his left hind leg? Does the left hind leg push him into the camera? The outside hind leg. And trot and walk. Oh, oh. And now, now. Now, good. See the difference? Yes. Very clean. And trot and walk. And on the track, a walk pirouette. Okay. Little half hold, and turn. Touch it with the whip. Just touch it. Yeah. He almost got stuck, but he did it. <laughs> good. And now we'll canter left. Now. Now. Now, almost. It's just a little lacking in oomph. Yeah. And trot and walk. Good. And now, now, now. Good. Good boy. And 
bench rod and walk. Good. If you used your back a little more, I think you'd actually get Canada to walk. Okay. Just try to sit very still with your upper body. Now, I want you to see if you can find the time. Oh. Yeah. Go. Make sure he's feeling a little electric. Not quite. I'll tell you again. Now, 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 yup. And trot and walk. Oh my god, I did not the lot of these go on. Okay, Pretend you're riding the second turn on the launches. And this one. And now I want you to go out and ride the third turn on the launches. And she did it, she rode it perfectly. <laughs> she allowed herself. You know? And that I find is so often the case. You're gonna come out here tomorrow and you're gonna bend in too much on your first leg yield and I'm gonna yell at you. <laughs> no. I'm not, no. No, you're not. You're gonna be thinking about it as you walk him out, as you take care of him, as you drive home, when you go to bed, when you drive back, and you're going to come in here, and if anything, you're going to have him bent the wrong way. You're going to have him bent in the direction you're going. You're not going to make the same mistake. It's, it's a matter of thinking about it and saying, this is what I have to do. And, and I've corrected some of you when you've talked to me about being specific. Okay, my leg yield's not very good. What's wrong with it? Well, I tend to do this. In your case, I tend to pull on the inside ring. No. And